Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back, and we are going to be breaking down Tuesdays, or Wednesday. Why do I keep getting the days wrong, dude? This whole, like, I'm done with classes. for. I have one more final, but I'm pretty much done with class. It's just screwing me up. I'm, like, sleeping into, like, two or, like, one, and it's just screwing up my days. But it is Wednesday, December 20th, and uh, DraftKings kind of screwed us with the contest tonight. Um... To go to the featured contest. Just wanted to show this real quick. So DraftKings kind of screwed, uh, I guess, I don't know, it's not really mid-level players, but like, my whatever, I don't know what tier I bit put into, but if you look at this, there is no $33 tonight. There's no $27 giant, there's no $33, like, the, hold on, let me, click, let me get rid of some of the stupid, late, but look at this, there's no, you gotta play the, the $50, the $55 finger wag. If you want the giant, like, mid-tier, I guess, it's not really mid-tier in my opinion, but the mid-tier, because there's the $10 tonight, there's this $55, I think there's the $550, uh, is it the five, yeah, $555, and then there's the $1,500, um, so that kind of, I really prefer the $33, um, this is like 22 extra dollars into a GPP, which I don't love for my cash line, but we're in it, we're in it, I'm in it, and so payout structure, not fantastic. I would make less in this. <laughs> I finished, what, 7th the other night and got $2,250? I would get less finishing 7th in this contest, like that just annoys me. Uh, but I guess I'll hope for probably a top 75 finish in it, but... I always like to play the GPP because if your line, if my cash line goes off, uh, it will produce well in the bigger GPPs than it will like the ten dollar GPP. Uh, apparent from last two nights ago, if I played the equivalent in that, which would have been um, thirty two dollars in the eight dollar compared to thirty three dollars in the regular, I guess you can even throw the one dollar GPP. We'll make it even thirty three. I would have won around thirteen hundred dollars compared to I won. Um, 2250 in the 33 so that's why i prefer the little bit bigger gpps than the smaller ones uh, i always recommend 90 percent cash to 10 percent gpps but i kind of break my own rule to step up to the bigger to the bigger gpps but let's get into breaking down the slate that's enough about complaining about the contest so first we will start it off with toronto and charlotte uh the uh raptors so we'll start out with the guards that's kind of the easy thing i want lowry i want the rosen cj miles is out um let me make sure. I always got to make sure with these injuries tags. Yeah, he didn't travel with them to Charlotte. I was pretty sure he was out, but I always got to check the little blur and make sure because sometimes DraftKings leaves the outs. I did a lot of research to make sure I knew who was out, but some of these guys like CJ Miles, uh, I'm not going to remember, so I'm going to always have to pull them up just to just to check and make sure. But I really just want Lowry DeRozan, uh, maybe a little Norman Powell, uh, but other than that, not much. Um, he, played, he played 21 and 22 minutes um, in the last two and he puts up uh, around a fantasy point per minute. Uh, I think he's around a .9 fantasy point per minute guy. Uh, so he can get there at that price. But on this slate, probably not worth it. Lowry at 8,200 and DeRozan at 83 are my preferred guard plays on the Raptors. But not too excited about them. Abaka is questionable. I think he's closer to doubtful than he is questionable. Which brings in Pascal Siakim and uh, Jakob Pertl. Uh, those are the only two I'd look there. Uh, OG Ananobi, I'll look at him more. Um, if we get official word that Ibaka is out, Pirtle and Sia Kim have some value if he's not out. If he is out, then OG uh, gets the bump. He played 30, almost 30 minutes. I think it was like 29 and like 40 seconds or something like that. So he was closer to 30. Uh, but he's not a very good fantasy point per minute producer. That's my only issue with him. So I don't know if I will go there, but he is a good value at only 3,700. Uh, uh, J-Val... He has some interest at 5,400. I played him on Sunday when he put up 43, so that was really nice. But take away the three blocks, knock him down to 37. Still a nice game. Uh, you're going to need the double-double from him to really meet value. I mean, you could hope for this 14-5 and five to get you there, but you're going to want the double-double, get you there, get you your value, and, and you move on. Um, not a bad matchup against Dwight. He's going to have to play probably. Um, I mean, it's not like a good matchup from the perspective of that he's going to score a bunch, but it's, it's a good matchup against Dwight is in the fact that he'll have to be out there against Dwight. So I like him. I expect him to play probably near the 27, 30 minutes, opposed to like the 22 he played against Brooklyn, who goes a little bit smaller. So moving on to Charlotte. Let's get out of Toronto. 
Uh, there are 12 games tonight, so there's 24 teams. I need to move through a lot. I need to try to move through these fast, so this isn't like an hour and a half long pot or like video. I need to need to move through them. So let's start out here. We've got Kemba Walker at 7100. I talked about him on Monday. He disappointed. I don't know. I just don't think Kemba Walker is healthy. Um, I might take another peek at him. I mean, he got to 24. He only played 30 minutes. Um, if it was closer, he would have played this 38 minutes, and he probably gets to value. Um, I don't know. He's going to explode. I mean, this 41 would be huge. It's 6x. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I can play Kemba. Uh, I do like him tonight, but I'm not sure I can go there. He has been doing extremely well with steals. That's kind of helped him meet value, but... I don't know. I, I like Kemba, but maybe not on this slate. Nicholas Batum, this is something to note for GPPs, not cash. Um, he has been getting the run with the second unit, uh, playing point guard. Um, and so when he plays point guard, his fantasy points per minutes are around 1-4, 1-5. And when he doesn't play with the first, the starting unit, or, or he, yeah, what am I saying? When he doesn't play the point guard, it goes all the way down from 1-4, 1-5 to like a 0. 0.8, 0. 0.9 when Kemba is on the floor with him. So that kind of... It's kind of my issue, but he's been playing around 14 minutes, I believe, with the uh, with the uh, second unit as the point guard. So uh, he comes out very early in the first, when, and then they let Kemba get his run, and then they bring him back when Kemba comes off, and it, it allots to about 13 minutes of run. Um, maybe not a go-to on this slate, but uh, interesting overall. Uh, don't have much interest in anybody else on the... Uh, guards and forwards but i do have a little bit of interest in uh dwight howard uh dwight gets jonas valanciunas then he'll get some combination of sia kim and pertle um i think dwight can meet value um i i'm not gonna say he's gonna get like this 55 but like a 37 38 performance from dwight not completely out of the question but that's enough on charlotte we'll move on to indiana miles turner does not carry a designation tag here but i am going to assume he will be highly limited or out um, he was cleared on Monday. He played Monday, uh, after being que highly questionable on Monday, but he was cleared to play then. Uh, if you're going to play anybody on Indiana, it's probably DeMontis Sabonis. Um, other than that, I don't have interest in Oladipo. Like I always say, Lance, interesting GPP option, but that's all he is. I'm not playing Oladipo at 9,200. While he's interesting, I'm not playing him at that price. So moving on to Atlanta. Another little quick game here. I have no interest in the bigs, like always. I just don't play the bigs. Um, and then the guards, it's pretty much Torian Prince, Dennis Schroeder, and Kent Bazemore. I think Bazemore and Prince are just GPP options tonight. No cash. Uh, and Schroeder has some cash interest, uh, but Bazemore and Prince have been stealing a lot of his usage. Uh, but he still, he still put them up uh, big scores. The 47-38 would have got you there. But this is what I'm more concerned about with Baysmore and Prince is that they kind of lower his floor a lot. Uh, Schroeder was around a 30 point floor, 55 point ceiling. I would say now with Schroeder or Baysmore and Prince playing so well, his floor drops to around 20, 25, and his ceiling drops from to about 45, 50. Um, and so that's about all I have to talk about on Atlanta. That's kind of a quick game. There's not much there I want to talk about. So Miami. We'll start out with the guards. Drogic is questionable. He expects to play or he wants to play. Um, I don't think they've officially cleared him to play. Um, I, I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. He said on Thursday, this is the blurb because I haven't looked into it today. I just saw the news last night. So he said he would play on Thursday. Uh, but I guess, I guess he had a setback today or the team isn't comfortable with him playing. So he is doubtful for today's game. The good thing is, is this is 7.30. Uh, the slate is actually, if you didn't know, it's a half hour later today, so we have a little bit longer to get news for the later games, which is going to be huge. Uh, I'll get into that later. There's some late news game that we need to get. But if Drogic sits, I don't know. This is a tough one for me. Because um, if Drogic sits, uh, I don't know if I can go back to the Heat for, for all the money again. Um, waiters went up. Richardson went way up. Tyler Johnson would be my preferred play. He didn't go up that much. Uh, he only went up, what did he go up, $500? He needs to get me about 30 for me to be happy. He played 40 minutes against Atlanta. I mean, they're going to give him run. Uh, he fouled out of that game, which is annoying. But he didn't play a very good game, in my opinion. Um, he put up 19 points, which is good. He shot 50%, which is fine. He went 0 for 5 from 3. 
and I, I just personally don't think he played a very good game. So if I'm going back to the Heat, well, it'll definitely be with uh, Tyler Johnson. I think he's got that 40-point upside in him if, he, if he's going to play that many minutes against Kyrie. Um, Kyrie has been better on defense this year, but it's still Kyrie defense. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Josh Richardson and Deion Waiters may be priced out. Um, Richardson's not bad, but he got 10 points from blocks and steals. Uh, his 35 would still be enough to get it done, so I'm not completely ruling him out. I don't know about Deion Waiters. Uh, he finally shot good, but he didn't shoot as much as I thought he would shoot. So I'm not really sure what to do with Waiters. Um, at 6,200, once again, he needs about 36 to meet my personal value. I mean, I guess you can lock them in. What does it give you as a salary remaining if you lock all three of these guys in? Uh, where is... Where's Waiters? There he is. Okay, so... Leaves you about 6,600 left. Um, it raises your... Uh, starting salary from 62.5 all the way up to 60 so it's not bad i don't know i'll have to see how the rest of the value shakes out and whatnot but they're not the extreme values that they were what richard richardson went up 1200 or no, 1100 that's adding five more points than what he needs to meet value uh waiters went up 700 that's adding that's not adding that much that's adding what 35 or 3.5 points to what he needs to meet value I don't know. It, it, it's going to be tight on salary, I think, um, because you're going to want to fit in some studs because I want Durant. Uh, again, I know I haven't seen Durant's price, so maybe I won't when I see his price, but I want Durant, and so it, it get, it's going to get a little messy here. We'll see how it goes, but at the forward spot, James Johnson remains out. Uh, so does... Um, Hassan Whiteside, Hassan Whiteside, obviously, still, he, he's not even on the player pool anymore, dude, oh, no, wait, centers, yeah, he's not even the, they took him, what, why won't it click, click center, he, oh, no, he is in the player pool, he's 7k, whenever Hassan Whiteside comes back, if he comes back on, like, a weird day, and they don't update his price, he's gonna be a nice play, but, I don't know, maybe we go back to the Jordan Mickey, well, <laughs> he's only 3,700, um, he'll get the second unit, big men, I assume this game will go small, Kyrie, Tatum, Brown, Marcus Smart or Terry Rozier, and Horford, and then it'll be Johnson, Richardson, Waiters, Ellington, and probably Bam Adebayo or Telly Olenek. I don't know if I don't know how much run Mickey is gonna get. I feel like Mickey was on the Celtics or like is he on their was he on their like D League I don't know. It's not really a Mickey revenge game. I don't know if he can have a revenge game as a non-starter not a good player but yeah you look at kelly olin i'm not playing olenic at 5400 i think he met value last game yeah no he didn't he didn't meet value last game um he shot awful one of eight he won't shoot one of eight again but i don't i don't want to play kelly olenic I, I don't like his ceiling um i'm not gonna play a bam at a bio um put up 31 he got the double double which was huge um it was the thing that mickey didn't get mickey came one point short of of uh of getting his double double, which what would that have been? That would have been 26, 27 and a half points. So would have been a little bit better, but he did fine for that price. He would have been amazing at that price if Isaiah Cannon didn't go off. But that's about all I have to say on the Heat. It's kind of a wait and see and see what other value opens up. If a ton of other value doesn't open up, I'll probably be jamming Waiters, Richardson, uh, Mickey, and uh, Johnson back. I, I think Johnson plays in a blowout. Like, I think Tyler Johnson plays even if the game blows out. Derek Walton Jr. is interesting. He's going to play. Um, he didn't play much, but in a blowout, he'll play. So, like, GBP, I feel like he got some first-half minutes, and then he got some late-game minutes. And so, if it blows out, he's an interesting play. Uh, but other than, <clears throat> other than that, I'm not playing Derek Walton Jr. For the Celtics on this slate, have some interesting Kyrie uh, and Horford. Horford should bully up against Olenek. Uh, it is Olenek revenge spot, I guess. It is It is Kelly-O revenge, but I'm not sure I'm going Kelly-O revenge for all the money. What did Kelly, hold on, what did Kelly Olenek play on Monday? I know he got benched in crunch time for Bam Adebayo. What did Olenek play? Play 29 minutes? I bet he gets 30, yeah. I might have to play Kelly Olenek. I don't want to play Kelly, I hate playing Kelly Olenek, but it is Olenek revenge spot, 
They don't have bigs to play, so why not give Olenek a chance to beast against his old team? It's really Horford, uh, Kyrie, and that's about it. Maybe Terry Rozier. Maybe you go to Terry Rozier. Um, he's going to play 20 minutes, but I don't know. I'm not playing Terry Rozier. It's kind of one of those things where I would like these guys on a smaller slate or a different slate, but I don't like them tonight. So it's Kyrie, it's Horford, that's about it. Moving on to the Kings, uh, we have news De'Aaron Fox is out. Um, he is out. George Hill is probable. If George Hill somehow sits, it's all the Frank Mason, it's all the Garrett Temple. Just play them. Don't even think about it. It's play those two guys, let it ride. Uh, but anyway, it's Frank Mason, and it may be Garrett Temple anyway. I mean, look at what Temple has been doing. De'Aaron Fox... I will say I didn't watch the games last night. Um, I did not have a very good night. Um, I did not watch the games. I had I went and saw the new Star Wars, and I went out to dinner, and so I didn't see those games, and I don't know what happened to De'Aaron Fox. He only played 11 minutes last night. I don't know if he re-injured it and they just sat him, but I do really like Garrett Temple tonight. He's going to play the backup shooting guard. He's going to play the backup uh the back, or like the third point guard, but he's going to get on there for a couple point guard minutes. But he's going to play minutes. They're going to play Hill. They're going to play Mason. They're going to play Temple. Uh, Temple at 3,600 is really interesting. Um, George Hill, I, I want to play George Hill, but once again, this whole, like, he's he's probable with an illness, which really, which really just messes things up. But I will probably go back there. I will probably play George Hill, Frank Mason, and we'll, we'll let it ride. I want to play... It, this is the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, it's the Kings and the Nets. We're going to get some... It, it's going to neutral out pace because the Nets play fast and the Kings play kind of slow, but the Kings suck at defense. Uh, so it'll probably neutral out. We'll get like a... I don't know what the totals are in these games yet. I haven't looked. I always wait until like later in the day when the betting has affected the totals. Um, but... I'm probably, probably just George Hill, Mason, and Temple. There's no forwards I like. They, they're just way too weird and sporadic. I'm not doing it. it it's just not doing it. Uh, and then I'm not doing anything at center. You can forget that unless someone gets ruled out. Brooklyn, let's move on to the Nets. I'm not doing anything with the Nets. Um, I'm not doing anything. This whole Nick Stauskas thing, I, it just pisses me off, dude. I don't get it. He played... He played these 28 minutes in the blowout against Toronto, and he beasted. But he still got 15 minutes and put up an offer against the the Pacers. But I don't know if he got benched for not scoring. Did he get benched because that's going to be his actual rotation? Is he going to play in the 20? Like, I don't get what he's going to do. So it really screws up Karis LeVert, Dinwiddie, and I'm not playing Dinwiddie at 6,700. I'm just, I'm not doing it on this slate. So there's literally no one on the Nets that I have interest in. You can just look through it. There's no one on the Nets that I'm playing. Just no one. I'm not playing the Nets. Maybe Okafor, I guess maybe if you wanted to take a flyer on Okafor at 3,800. Uh, he played 22 minutes against Toronto and then didn't play <laughs> against the Pacers. So what, to take that forever. Whatever you want, whatever you want to take that for. He's interesting at 3,800 and a GPP. All right, moving on to Orlando. At the guards, Fournier, questionable tonight. Uh, I think he's, yeah, he won't play. He was questionable, but he's out now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, uh, so Fournier is out still. Doesn't bump anyone here up a lot. Uh, I want, I want Elf in his, I want, I want, I want to play Elf when he has his game. But he has just not been good. And he has not really had his game um, like that triple-double 60-point game from Elf, it just hasn't come. Is Aaron Gordon still... Yeah, Aaron Gordon is still out. He will not play Wednesday as well. So, back to the Jonathan Simmons-Vucevic train. Uh, Simmons is going to play a ridiculous amount of minutes. He's going to play in the upper 30s. And, in my opinion, he's pretty safe for the 40. Um, he turns into, like, the de facto point guard because Elf has been so bad. 6,900 is pushing it for me on Simmons, though. It's really going to push... It's it's really pushing it for me. Uh, and then Vooch at 94. I will probably go back and play Vooch at at 90. Oh, my gosh. I do not want to play Nikola Vucevic at 9,400. But I probably will. I probably will. I want to put him in my lineup. I just want to do a little bit of it. We'll get to this later when I put Durant in the lineup. I want to see how much that limits me. So moving on to Chicago. It Like I said, it's Simmons. It's Vooch. I guess with them out, you can go to Mario Hazonia at 4,700. You're either going to get this weird Portland game, or you're going to get... But, but Mario Hazonia has been shooting... He shot, like, bro, 
this is not happening again. He's not shooting an 8 for 12 from 3. Like, get out of here. That's not happening. Um, I mean, though, if he shoots... If you take away 6 points, or 6 threes, that's 18 points. Um, and then... So that's 21 points he loses if he doesn't... If, if he sinks a more reasonable amount of threes. So I'm just... I don't know. I don't think I'm playing Mario Hazonia at 4,700. But you can look at Elf, GPP Elf. Uh, Wundu will probably start. They've been starting Awundu. Uh, DJ Augustine has just not seen the bump that I thought he would, but he's interesting as well. Okay, let's get off of that. Move on to Chicago. Not much here that I'm interested in. Chris Dunn got his price bump to 7,200. That kind of kills him for me. David Nawaba, interesting. Um more gpp interesting than cash but it's kind of like he's kind of like oh yeah he could probably he he's got like a 60 percent chance of getting you 20 or 30 but what does that get you in anything like i'm not really wanting to take that risk at gpp because he doesn't have like 40 point upside so i don't know david nawaba is just interesting for the fact that he probably is too risky for cash and doesn't have a high enough ceiling for gpp that's kind of where he's at but other than that, it's Chris Dunn, it's Justin Holiday. I guess you can play Nikola Mirotic. I can't do it at 6,400. He's been absolutely smashing. Like, smashing the lights out of the basketball. But I, I'm, uh, I don't know, like, I can't play Nikola Mirotic at 6,400 when he's getting 26 minutes. Like, what is that, 26? He cannot continue to smash like this in 26 minutes. If he's going to get 30, I think Markkanen was out for these two. So he's going to get mid to upper 20s is that enough Nikola Mirotic to meet value at 64 he's gonna need 36 to kill me I probably won't go there Portis and Markinen a little bit interesting but not gonna go there moving on to Utah Donovan Mitchell the big news Donovan Mitchell is ruled out that brings in Rodney Hood Ricky Rubio and Alex Burks they should all see uh, big bumps as well as Joe Ingles I mean there's like 36 minutes to go around with Donovan Mitchell out was Mitchell uh, Mitchell on average, yeah, yeah, upper 30s, so 35, 37 minutes to go around. Probably the biggest beneficiary is Alex Burks. I mean, he's only playing 16 minutes. I mean, you can't bump up Rubio that much. Rubio's already playing 30, I guess Rubio's minutes are kind of all over the place. But it bumps up Rubio's minutes a little bit. Hood's, what does that bump up Hood's minutes? Yeah, you can't really bump up Hood's minutes. I guess maybe he'll play 36. So we're taking about 10 minutes away so far. Ingles. I don't think Jingles can play anymore. Yeah, Jingles isn't going to play any more minutes. So Jingles. So about 10 minutes of... So 27 minutes of Donovan Mitchell's minutes have to go somewhere. It's got to be Alex Burks. He's going to play mid-30s, I would assume. And last time we saw mid-30s Alex... I guess he can't play mid-30s. He hasn't played mid-30s at all. So he's going to play upper 20s. I don't know. At 4300 I like Alex Burks, but at 4300 it's enough of a price that I'm like, eh, probably not. Uh, Derek Favors is most likely to play today. He's probable, so that takes away Ekpe Udo and kind of eliminates Joe Johnson and Jonas Drabko. So I guess Derek Favors becomes interesting. He's only 5300 He gets the Thunder. Uh, depends on if he starts at center or if he starts at power forward. If he starts at power forward, I like him because he gets mellow. If he starts at center, then I don't like him because he gets... Uh, Dakari Johnson or whatever. I, I don't know. I probably won't play favors at 5,300, but I do kind of like him. Moving on to the Thunder, we have Russell Westbrook clocking in at 11,400. I do like what well, I do like Westy today, but I, I'm almost feeling like this is going to end up being a day where I play Vooch, Durant, and then a bunch of guys to fit around it. So I don't know if Westbrook gets in on DK. He will probably get in on FanDuel. Uh, but I doubt he finds his way in my lineup on DK. Moving on the forwards, I'm not playing Paul George. I'm not playing Mello. Uh, Mello's price is intriguing because he only needs about 30, but have we seen how bad Mello's been playing? Like, I'm not... I, I, I can't do it, dude. I can't do it with some of these players. Like, it's like, hey, this guy is actually reasonable price. Can you play him? Uh, if Steven Adams gives it a go today, um, that kind of screws things up because he probably won't play his full minutes. Um, but... That's about it for the Thunder. It's Westbrook, and that's about it for me. If Steven Adams sits, I guess you can look at Pat Pat and Dakari Johnson, but not for me today. All right, moving on. Six more games to go. We're halfway through. Lakers up next. They take on the Rockets in a pace-up game. 
It'll this will be a this will be a high paced game. KCP is out because he is unable to travel. So like I said, Josh Hart time. Josh Hart three K. Um, plays played nineteen minutes against Golden State, which was actually very interesting. But played thirty three minutes against Cleveland when KCP was out. I'm going to put Josh Hart into my lineup and let it ride, probably. He's 3K, needs 15 points. I think if Josh, I believe in Josh Hart. I like Josh Hart as a player. I loved him at Villanova. I believe if you give Josh Hart 25 minutes on the basketball court in the NBA, he can get me 15 fantasy points. I, ju I just believe that, that he can get me 15 fantasy points. So I believe in Josh Hart. We'll put him in the lineup just because that kind of helps us see how much average salary we'll have once Durant, because I'm going to play him. I mean, it's kind of mind-blowing that I'm going to lock in Josh Hart too but my my point is with this is his the worst expectation that we can expect is that he's going to play 15 minutes I would say that is worst case scenario awful everything goes wrong he plays 15 minutes if he gets me 10 points at 3k yeah that sucks but if it allows me to get Durant and Vooch and Durant and Vooch combined for 130 points hey 100 then I paid I'll just assume a Durant's 11-6, so 21, 24, 24,000 for 130. It's not 5x, but that's not, or it'd be 140, so it's not, five, it's close to 5x, um, even if Josh Hart just sucks it up. Wait, am I, am I doing that math wrong? I guess I'm not doing the math wrong. Yeah, you know what, that is, what am I doing? I can't, I can't do math, that's almost 6x, let me. Let me learn how to do math. That's almost 6x. Uh, if Josh Hart gets me 10 and Vooch and Durant combined for 130, it's 140, 24, multiply that up, 96, 120. 120 is 5x, so it's four points short of being 6x. So there we go. Putting Josh Hart. Jo I'm playing Josh Hart just because partially I want to play Josh Hart. Okay, let me stop rambling about that. Lonzo Ball has been on absolute fire. I don't like playing Lonzo, but he's been on fire these last four games. And he's been shooting the ball really well. It was his biggest knock early in the season is that his jump shot, well, for one, his jump shot is ugly. You can't argue that, but it was awful early in the season. But he's been shooting lights out lately, um, and he's been putting up the, the numbers. I doubt I go to it here. He should get CP3 defense, which I don't like to mess around with, but he will get CP3 defense. Uh, so take it or leave it as you want. Other than that, Jordan Clarkson was, Clarkson was the huge um, must play when um, KCP was out, but he sucked it up. And he needs like 30 for me to be pissed I didn't play him, so I probably won't go there. Uh, Kyle Kuzma has been on fire recently. Uh, put up that 40 burger against the uh, Warriors. Uh, 28, which was value against Cleveland. He's been in the 30s those two games. Had the dud against the Sixers. He only played 19 minutes that game. Probably explains that. And then he had the 43-er against Houston. Um, if he plays the power forward, should draw Kyle Anderson or P.J. Tucker off the bench. If he plays the small forward, he'll, guard, he'll draw Trevor Ariza just because Ariza plays so many minutes, he'll be there. Uh, so that is... I think that's the Lakers. I'm not playing Brooke Lopez. Brandon Ingram, I guess, but he's going to draw Trevor Ariza probably. I don't know. I don't like messing around with Trevor Ariza. But eh, you can look at uh, Brandon, Brandon Ingram GPP, I guess. Okay, so let's move on to the four, the uh, Houston Rockets forwards. Tucker, uh, Tucker, Anderson, and Ariza all interesting with Emba Mute out. Tucker probably the most interesting. He hasn't really done anything. He had the 130-point game, I guess. He had the double-double. But other than that, he really hasn't done much without uh, Mba Mute there. But interesting to to look at here because they should go small. Randall, while being a big, plays kind of small um, as the power forward. So they could put Tucker on him. It wouldn't be an issue to put Tucker on Randall. Uh, so Tucker, interesting to me. Maybe if no value pops up, he can creep into my lineup. What does that give us? Uh bumps it up about 500 bucks to put him in there that's not bad um at the guard spot it's paul harden i talked about it in the last pod with the rockets that aaron gordon there was a game coming he put up 33 real points 40 draft kings points um i doubt he get, uh, he's not doing it back to back i don't think uh but i do like him as gpp still just because he has that potential 
I'll probably go back to, I don't know if I can go to CP, actually, I, I just saw, I thought it said 8,800, I was like, yeah, I think I can go back to, G, to, to CP3, but 9,800, bro, 9,800 for Chris Paul, he put up the triple-double against Utah with two blocks and a steal, um, I don't know, I think the 10 assists, I, I, I think 17 and 10 is, is, is what you can expect, but I don't think you can expect the rebounds, like, he's been getting them, but I, I would I would look more at the four rebounds than the ten. I don't know. Ninety eight hundred. I do like CP three, but I don't think I'll go there. There's a there's a guard coming up later that I, that I'll probably go to before I'd go CP three. Harden eleven K. Probably a hard pass. Um, CP three is really really hurt Harden. Um, Harden was like the MVP favorite. Now he's kind of slowed up. I think Le I think LeBron or Giannis have to overtaken it. Um, from him so moving on to Detroit Avery Bradley's out Stanley Johnson will probably get the start or Luke Kennard I'm not playing this is a quick and easy one for me I'm not playing anyone on Detroit Drummond's 9100 I'll play Vooch before I play Drummond I mean I think Vooch's Vooch's ceiling and floor are higher I think Vooch's floor is like 40 and Drummond's floor is like 20 and then Vooch's ceiling is like 65 70 and Drummond's ceiling is 60 Maybe seven, maybe seventy, sixty, probably is his ceiling. So that's it. You could play Drummond, I guess he's fine, but I wouldn't. Uh, Dallas up next against Detroit. Um, Dennis Smith is back, so there. That answers your questions. Dennis Smith is back, so no, I'm not playing anyone on Dallas. Let's move on. That's nice and easy with Dallas. Oh, starting off at the guards. Come on, man. C Come, DraftKings, what is this? Your Jimmy Butler is 80. Fine, 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 DraftKings. You want to do this? Fine. Jimmy Butler is put in my lineup. 80, really, 8,800 for Jimmy Butler. I mean, I can't with this pricing. What is that? Other than the game that I played him, I played him when he dropped that 26. That just blows my mind. I, I played him then. But other than that game, look at how consistent he's been. Look at this. I mean, look at Jimmy Butler. I I feel like I have to play him at 8,800. I mean, that's too cheap. That's too cheap. Like, who priced him at that? Other than Jimmy Butler, you can look at Cat. But other than that, I'm not playing anyone on DraftKings. Taj is probably still interesting on FanDuel. Oh my gosh, dude, DraftKings, learn how to price. Like, why is Cat 9K? I mean, look at Cat. I mean, they're just way too consistent. Like, I, I don't like to game log watch because that's awful, but it's not like Denver is this awful matchup that you, that, like, Jimmy Butler's going to get, what, Gary Harris defense or Jamal Murray defense? I mean, am I really going to, Will Barton defense? Like, none of those guys are going to scare me off of Jimmy Butler. This should be fast. It's in Denver. Uh why dude why are their prices like this I, I there may be a durant fade from me tonight because look at that it, it still leaves you 4950 if you can get some value in the 3k range you can get those i'll go back i'll go back and take a peek at it but there this, this could get interesting um that's enough for minnesota moving on to denver i really only have one interest here uh unless gary harris sits if gary harris sits this makes it interesting he went through shoot around um and, and he expects to play but if he sits, all give me all the Will Barton. Give me all the Will the Thrill. Um, and maybe maybe, maybe if Moutier sits, give me a little Malik Beasley. Just a little bit. Actually, no. This stupid Tory Craig played a ton of minutes. I, I don't... How, why is Tory Craig playing 30 minutes? I, I don't know. But I guess maybe Tory Craig. Oh, I don't want to play Tory Craig. That's just if Gary Harris sits out. Jokic is only 8,100. I love him for GPPs. He hasn't hit GPP value uh, in a while. I mean, that's one game out of all of these. He hit that 58 uh, against Memphis. Uh, but Jokic at 8,100 has some massive upside. So I'd look there. But other than that, we'll move on to the Spurs. So we have Leonard out, I believe. And we have... Tony Parker out? Yeah, Tony Parker. Tony Parker and Leonard are out. Uh, brings up Rudy, Gr Rudy Gay. I don't know if I'll play Rudy Gay. Kyle Anderson is probable, I believe. Okay, he is available now. So he's available now to play. Um, like I said, that came in at 217. I did most of my research around noon. Uh, so he is available to play now. So that kind of mucks things up. He has 5,200. Does he have a minutes restriction? 
Um, this doesn't say if he, if he has a minutes restriction, hard pass. If 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 Pop says he's good to go, we're playing him. I don't know. I'm not. Never mind. Never mind. Actually, GPP Kyle Anderson. If Pop does not give him a minutes restriction, I can't do it in cash because I don't trust Pop. Pop could play him the first half and then sit him. Um, Lamarcus Aldridge, revenge game with no uh, Kawhi. That's interesting in GPPs. I don't think I'd go there in cash, but LMA against Portland. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, LMA versus Portland, revenge game. I could see it. Uh, it's back in Portland, so that's about all the interest I have from San Antonio. Moving on to Portland. Nurkic still on his weird 25-minute limit. Um, no big... Everybody's healthy for the, the, for the, for the Blazers. The only guy I would play, hands down, Damian Lillard. Um, he almost, po he's, he's almost been posting these triple doubles the last two games had, and they haven't been monster games just because he hasn't gotten the triple doubles. If he gets those triple doubles, they're in the mid fifties and they're big games, but he got a price decrease down to 85. He should see Deontay Murray. I don't know who's defending him, but I'm going to go back to the Damian Lillard, Lillard Lutwell in a GPP. I'll probably get a, I'll probably get a GPP going with a Lillard and an LMA in it. Um, so that should be interesting. But other than that, other than Damian Lillard, I'm not playing anyone else on the Blazers. Moving on to the Grizzlies. We're almost done. Mike Conley remains out, but that's about all the only important news. Chandler Parsons will sit. I'm not taking too much of that. Marcus Gasol, 7,700 against the Warriors. Take that for whatever you want. He had the big game against Boston, but he's been pretty bad for the salary. He's been all right, but I don't know. Marcus All just doesn't look right if you watch him play. Uh, he's been fine, I guess, but he he didn't take any shots against some of these teams. I don't know. I doubt I go there. Maybe a Durant Gasol stack in a GPP. Keep it close. But other than that, that's all the information on the Grizzlies I want to cover. Moving on to the Warriors. So this is where we need the maybe the extra half hour. We need the news on this. Draymond Green is doubtful. Um. Andre Iguodala is questionable with flu-like symptoms. Livingston is doubtful, and Zaza is out. I think that's that's it. So Zaza out, Draymond, um, Draymond Livingston doubtful, Iguodala questionable. So take that for what you want. How much is Durant? Kevin Durant is eleven six. Okay, what great pricing. Oh, you can't you can't fit Vooch, Butler, Durant, and Towns. Doesn't fit. Um, so let me get rid of Towns. Forty three hundred a player. Forty three hundred a player. It's possible to fit Butler, Vooch, and Durant. This will be a G. I'll have some GPPs rolling tonight. Uh, definitely a Vooch, Butler, Towns. Probably have that. Um, I probably wouldn't play Jimmy Butler in. I don't know. Durant's so expensive. It might be cut Durant night. They probably blow out Memphis. Uh, even if... This is going to be a tough decision for me. I really want to play... It might be a split cash night. I might split up my two cash lines. Um, because Butler underpriced. Vooch underpriced. Towns underpriced. Durant really is underpriced at 11.6. He should probably be 12 something. Um... If we get news that Draymond plays and has no minutes restriction, at 7,500, I probably have a lot of interest in Draymond. Uh, Jokic in GPPs, Lillard, LM. There's too many guys I want to play at the upper end. Um, so if Iguodala sits, it's all the Omri Caspi. It's all the Caspi for all the money uh, if Iguodala sits. It's probably all the Caspi for all the money even if Agu Iguodala plays. Um, Caspi needs that double-double to really get to his full value, but... Probably, probably an Omri Caspi night. Uh, but other than that, it's Caspi, maybe Bell. I guess Patrick McCaw would get some huge run if Iguodala sits. Played 23 minutes. He kind of screwed Durant on some plays. He, like, he would just take it to the rim and, like, try to, I don't know, like, act like he was Steph Curry taking the ball away from Durant and trying to score. Like, Durant would be open, clapping for the ball. Like, give him the ball. Like, like why is Patrick McCaw taking shots over Kevin Durant. It's not like he took a lot, but the shots he took were like awful shots. Like, let a shot come to you. He only took five shots, but they were like awful shots. I would say like the two threes were fine. They were like set up by Durant or Clay, 
but the three shots that he took other than those threes like were completely stupid and i i don't know if you're gonna screw durant i mean you better you better make your shots which he did not so it's probably bell caspi mccaw I can't play David. I can't. I mean, David West is he's he's hitting value somehow, but I can't play David West play in less than twenty minutes. I just can't do it. If David West ever saw like thirty minutes, he would absolutely crush. Uh, maybe swaggy, maybe a little swaggy in a GPP. Maybe, maybe it's a hard maybe, but other than that, not playing any. Uh, gosh, Quinn Cook. He only saw five minutes actually. So no, no Quinn, don't no Quinn Cook. Okay, that's enough Warriors. It's really just Durant, and then a bunch of guys maybe in GPPs, and then Caspi, I guess Caspi. All right, moving on to the Suns, not playing Isaiah Cannon at 4,500. There's an Isaiah Cannon letdown game coming, and I do not want to be any part of that. Mike James has been relegated to DNP CDs. Ooh, nine minutes against the against Dallas. Um. Let's see, Tyler Eulis is 4K, maybe, hard maybe, probably a no. Um, it's probably Greg Monroe night, but if we don't get word, I'm not playing any of that. But that's pretty much it for the Suns. I, there's not much there. Maybe Josh Jackson, he's only 3,900. Um, maybe Josh Jackson, but that that's about it there. Let's move on to the final team of the day. Almost done with this, guys. We got the Clippers. Blake Griffin, Wesley Johnson out. Um, Lou Williams is questionable. Um, if everybody plays, it's probably Sweet Lou and DeAndre Jordan, and then call it a night. Maybe Austin Rivers, but it's going to be Lou, Jordan, call Oh my gosh, really, really, DraftKings. Why is DeAndre Jordan 7,500? 7,500 against the Suns? At home? Oh, man. Can I get... How much money does this... Hold on. Let me get rid of Butler. Let me get, up, let me get rid of Jimmy Buckets. Let me put in DeAndre Jordan. Saves me $1,300. It bumps it up a little bit. Not too much. Um, if I come down from Vooch. Uh, it's going to be really interesting roster construction tonight. you got a lot of top-end guys. In my opinion, the top-end guys underpriced that you should definitely be targeting is DeAndre Jordan, Kevin Durant, Nikola Vucevic... Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Jimmy Butler, LaMarcus Aldridge, Damian Lillard, Jokic for purposes of GPP. And so it's going to be a really interesting night. Make sure and keep up on all the news. Hopefully this breakdown helps you um, out. But guys, that's going to do it. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.